Welcome. All right, so what we have here is x plus 2 divided by y is equal to 2. And what we're trying to do is to solve for x. And I know this problem gets it with a lot of students because automatically they see a, a fraction in there and they're like, ah, no, not a fraction. Um, so in this case, we need to say, all right, well, then stop crying about the fraction. Let's get rid of the fraction. x plus 2 divided by y. So if we want to undo dividing by y, we're going to need to multiply, right? We're using inverse operations. So I'm just going to put this in parentheses. And I'm going to multiply by y. And a lot of times like, students will get confused. So I'm going to say, no, I'm going to multiply by y over 1, which is the same thing as y. And then I'm just going to multiply by y over here. Do you want to write over 1? Sure. That means that one's over 1, though, as well. So we don't need to write the y over 1 on the right side. The reason why I write the y over 1 is you can see the y is in the numerator, and this y is in the denominator. That means, using my division property, these divide to 1. Now I'm just left with x plus 2 equals 2y. So now it says to solve for x. That means I need to say, all right, what else has happened to my variable x that I need to undo? Well, my variable is being added by 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. Therefore, my final answer is x equals 2y minus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve the literal equation for your variable x. Thanks.